Hello and welcome to another video of Omnibrain Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how you can cheat in Ashes of the Singularity Escalation. It's a cool strategy game, gave me a lot of fun. But some missions are really hard and after playing through the campaign I wanted to mess around a little bit. So I'm going to show you how you can cheat all the resources in the game. It's actually really easy to do. You're just going to need Cheat Engine. Now let's get started. I've just started a new game and paused the gameplay. Now let's cheat Metal first. Now open up Cheat Engine and detach the right process. The resource values are stored as float. So sometimes Cheat Engine and the game doesn't round the float values in the same way. So we're going to choose value between and search from one less than our current resource value to one more than our current resource value. Now just unpause the game so the resource value changes. Now pause the game again and search for the new value. If you haven't bought anything yet, you're always gonna get three values. Just one of them is the right one. I don't know where the other ones belong to, to be honest. Maybe they belong to the enemy. If anyone figures this out, please let me know in the comments below. We're gonna figure out which one is ours in a second. But first we're gonna save all those values to our table and search for the uranium value. And do the same process again. Unpause the game to change the value and search again till you only got 3 hits. Now it's time to build something to really figure out which of those 3 values are really our resource value. So let's choose something which costs metal as well as uranium. Now we finally can actually identify our real addresses for metal and uranium. And get rid of the rest. Finally, let's cheat Quanta. It works basically the same way, it's just easier because you can buy something directly. To make things easier, what we're going to do now is create a little group. Put all the found addresses in the group. Now we change the group settings, so every time we activate or deactivate the group or change the value, all the children in the group are doing exactly the same. Now you can go crazy with resources. So have fun with that. So do this however you see fit. Hopefully you find a way to use it to enjoy the game even more. I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up and of course every new subscriber makes my day.